Could the death of this little boy have been prevented? Ten-year-old Anthony Avalos died after his mother claimed he fell, but there is a history of abuse allegations. Now detectives and the L.A. County Department of Children and Family Services are looking into his death in Lancaster. CBS 2's Lisa Stiegel has a one-on-one -on -one interview with the director of the agency. Why didn't we remove the child? And um, so we're really going through the file with the fund who have come, trying to understand exactly uh, what the reasoning was behind that. In a sit-down interview, Bobby Cagle, director of L.A. County DCFS, says the investigation into the death of 10-year-old Anthony Avalos will look deeply at the agency's involvement and others. Hopefully, if there are things that we can change, we will do that. He confirmed to me DCFS received 13 calls from February of 2013 to April of 2016 and made eight home visits. Some were duplicate calls about the same issue. Now, during those visits, he says they interviewed the parental figures and Anthony was taken out of the home to be talked to alone. And the last one came in 2016. So we've not had contact with him or his family nor any reports since that point in time. He tells me during the investigations, only once was Anthony removed from the home. After a 2013 confirmed investigation about sexual abuse, the boy's grandfather was removed from the apartment. And during April of 2014 to December of 2014, the family was under supervision with at least weekly visits from DCFS. After so many calls and visits, why wasn't Anthony removed from the home permanently? Well, you have to have uh, a level of proof in order to get a court to give you an order of that type. Once you have a child recant, that somewhat compromises your ability to get those warrants. He says their investigations did lead them to believe there was physical and emotional abuse, denial of food, general neglect, forced fights between children, even the child being forced to crouch for long periods as punishment. He says they were getting mental and physical treatment over the years, but as for Anthony's mom saying his death was because of an accidental fall, he says the story simply doesn't add up. He had a severe head injury consisting of a brain bleed, plus bruises and abrasions all about his body. All that indicates to me that that's non-accidental. I'm Lisa Siegel, CBS 2 News.